Hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. I think it's a little bit after nah, borderline six o'clock. I'm out here hiking along and I wanted to show you some stuff. But I'm going to talk about a couple things that are agile in nature and how we hiked out of here and what I see. And I'm going to share some of those with you. But welcome to the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Messer, Scrum Master, Agile Coach. And we talk about Agile and Scrum in a very practical and tactical way. I'm out hiking, out camping out in the wilderness. So this is getting recording and it's going to get popped up. When I do have an internet connection, there's only one spot or on the highway that I'll post it up later today. Okay. Pause record. So this right here is a little bridge that they made for the trail. As you can see, there's water going through here. And this is a great example of how the, the Agile team adapts to impediments, right? So it's all wet and muddy over here. So what does everybody do? They walk, they found a new trail, or they put some rocks right there to get themselves to the, to the bridge to go across. So this is a great example of teams taking on initiative to get around blocks without having, well, we need the park service to come here and build a better road. No, we just put some rocks there and went across and continued on with the job. So that's an example of allowing the Agile team or anybody on a self-organizing team. This is a self-organizing environment because it's not all the state park service, right? The people who are self-organizing create a little trail. This is another example. Now this trail is not marked. So I'm gonna give a little talk about what do we got here? Working software over uh, complete documentation, right? Over documentation. This trail is not marked, but you can see the trail, but I'm gonna show you later a little bit of some documentation, minimum documentation that is needed to allow people to go on their journey. Okay, further on the trail, I wanted to show you the lake. They got a little beach over here. You know, it's just some sand, some water, a little netting to keep the fish away. But it's fun, kids have a blast. They have a little pavilion here. And then there's a little creek. We're gonna kind of walk down that creek a little bit. So it's just sharing this with you a little bit out here and different show for a change, right? So this is what I want to share for minimum documentation, this map. So instead of over, so working software over minimum documentation, you see my reflection, it's pretty cool. Um, but this applies to anything in life and it doesn't have to be software. So you want working product over documentation or complete documentation that's like over the top. So check out this documentation. We have a line map. There is no dimensions. Though it's important, maybe they put little mileage markers here or there, named it, kind of squiggle it. I think we went and did this yesterday. And these are the markers, so you can tell which trail you're on. Now, I have to say, some of these markers aren't the best markers on the trail, but I like this. And this was done by the um, Boy Scout troop back in uh, uh, number 755. So we're going to kind of hit the trail a little bit, and I'm going to show you some of these markers. But this is all the documentation. It's not some elaborate map. There's no paper map. The one thing I learned about the phones. Take a picture of the map with your phone when you go hiking. That way you always have it. <laughs> it was a smart idea. I should have done yesterday. Because then we would have felt like we knew where we were going. But anyway, that's minimal documentation. And then this is working software. Or working product, right? So I'll show you a little bit more of the documentation and that'll be good. So I'm going to show you some more pictures. But this right here. Right there. That's part of the documentation. It's just spray painted signs on the trail to show you where the trail is. There's no elaborate arrow signs or painted street number or any of that stuff, but that's 
part of the minimal, do minimal documentation so that you can have a working product, which is basically a trail for people to go walk on. Now here's another example. These stairs that you see here that they put some wood on and everything, you're not gonna see those stairs throughout this trail. The only reason why they put those chair stairs there because a majority of the people don't go hiking too far. But most of the people that might come out here a little ways, it makes it a little bit easier because that's where most of the traffic is. So by analyzing their data, they know they don't have to build fancy stairs all over the place, just in this one little spot. Here's another thing, here's this bridge. We saw that one little two plank bridge. This is a great example of MVP. This is like the next generation of bridge building for the trail where it's got railings, got the railings and everything. Other bridges don't have, there's very few of them that do. But this is something where they said, we need to make it more usable by everybody who comes here, right? And this is just the last thing as we go, I think. I just wanna show there's some trout swimming in the water that are trying to swim upstream but they're kind of blocked by that but that's all natural it's not man-made so leave it at that kind of go around here see if you can see them swimming around they're actually swimming upstream it's pretty cool yesterday and again here's one of those trail markers so i kind of just wanted to show you what is out here is a, you know, working product, which is this trail, over documentation, which is this, minimum documentation. But you need some documentation, because I tell you, you won't find this trail. So when you look at the Agile Manifesto, it says working product over documentation, right? Complete documentation. This is all you need. Well, this is actually the complete documentation, like over documenting. We don't need to over document the situation. And we got our perfectly working trail where people can use it. It's all you need. So with that, I'll just leave you a picture of the little water there. I'm so tempted to knock the dam off so the fish can go up the river. But uh, they worked their way because I found some trout about a mile up the stream. So they do it. With that, I'm gonna say, Hey, happy scrumming, you know, enjoy, get out there in the outdoors on a weekend, work hard in between sprints and enjoy some life. Take care. Bye.